I'm Gecko, and I am a broke cosplayer who's still very much in her FNAF phase at 19 years old. Anyway, <laughs> Also, I have a mic now, look at this, I'm a professional. But yeah, I decided I wanted to cosplay Bunny because she is my favorite character from Security Breach. So I got everything from Sheen because there's obviously no like official Bunny cosplays and I wanted like a more human version of her actual suit. So I just bought everything to put together and I'm gonna be showing you what I got and how I did that today and how I do my makeup and stuff. Um, Everything again is from Sheen and it was really cheap. I'll put how much everything came to on the screen and have the links to everything in the description. This is the first thing I got. It's just white dress, poofy sleeves, poofy top, corset waist and big poofy skirt with a lace at the bottom. The next thing we have to simulate like paws is these like arm warmer things. Is that a thing? Uh, gloves. Gloves. That's what arm warmers are called. Yep. Um, they just have fur at the end and a little thumb hole. So it just looks like fuzzy little paws and I think these are really cute. Actually I love them. <laughs> Actual leg warmers, not leg sleeves as I probably would have called them. Um, just white knitted leg warmers, not much to say about them. They're just a tube of white knitted material. Once again, for the legs, we have these like white fishnet thigh high stocking things with a white strip around the top and a little bow because Vanny has a bow. So I tried to include as many bows as possible. And then for her iconic blue bow, which I wear around my neck, she does too actually. Never mind, that's where it's supposed to be worn. For some reason I thought it was in her hair and then I remember she's a rabbit, she doesn't have any. But this is just a hair bow, just has a hair clip on the back. So what I do is tie a piece of ribbon, like loop it through and then tie that around my neck like a choker. And then obviously the most important part for a rabbit, rabbit ears, these are bent out of shape. But yeah, these are just the ears. I just fold one down and have one up. It's just a normal head and that looks so bad. I promise I will fix the wiring for the actual cosplay. We're gonna ignore that. Moving swiftly on. This part I didn't get from Sheen. I got this from AliExpress but this isn't necessary. I don't, well most of this isn't but this especially. Just a petticoat because I wanted the skirt to be extra poofy. Also from Sheen this is the last thing. It is just a white wig. It looks bad on the wig head but I promise it looks better on. Uh, it's not great quality but I think this was like a tenner or something. I'll put the actual price up obviously and I'm gonna go get into cosplay and I will show you how I do my makeup for Vani. Hello this is voiceover gecko chiming in. So here I am with half one eye of eyeliner done. I look insane once again but I'm just gonna grab my water-based face paint that I got from Amazon for about 20 euro and I'm just gonna do a very rough outline over one eye um, with the grey face paint and then I'm just gonna quickly fill all that in. Woo it's filled in look at me go. So next I'm gonna take the black face paint and the grey face paint. I'm gonna mix those together to make just like a dark grey colour and I'm gonna fill in both of my eyebrows with that. Now I have eyebrows I am moving on to the stitches along the side so I'm just taking some black on my brush and making those. I am alternating between straight lines, diagonal lines and crossed over but I did mess up. I went back in with a smaller brush to fix that up a bit just so it was a bit thinner. Now all the stitches are done I am moving back to my eyeliner. I've just done my regular eyeliner on top. Now I'm going under the eye with a thin line getting thicker towards the end and I am drawing some lashes on underneath just to make my eyes appear a little bit bigger. Moving on to the nose, I am just going on the very tip of my nose doing it very rounded at the start just over the entire tip of the nose and then pointing it a teeny tiny bit towards the very bottom. It's pretty much just a very very rounded triangle. Then I'm going back in with some white face paint to do one longer line and then one dot underneath to make the nose appear shiny. And here is the completed makeup look after I have added lashes and some lipstick and I think it looks pretty cute. And this is the whole cosplay on. I think it looks pretty cute. Um, we've got a little bow. Obviously ignore the mic that wouldn't usually be there. We got the little ears which are still slightly bent out of shape but that's fine. We got a little pause. The wig's not great but it was so cheap that like I can't really complain it's just the bangs are a little thin and the wig itself is a bit flat but it's honestly fine it does the job. I also have this knife I made myself it is literally just painted cardboard. I will make one out of foam but this was supposed to be an extremely cheap cosplay so we went with cardboard. It's got like pink plaid <laughs> really badly done plaid so yeah I added a little blue bow 
to, to match. This is the makeup I went with. I'm definitely gonna need to improve this because it doesn't look the best, but again, it'll do. This is just a really cheap, easy cosplay. But yeah, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would highly appreciate a like, comment, and possibly subscribe if you want to. I don't know, and that is all. Bye!